Hey guys, I'm at Target right now. I think it's the first clip of this video. I didn't do a video last week or this week, I guess, that I'm filming. The last video was me doing a kind of, sort of, mystery box that my camera fucked up. But hey, if you guys enjoy it, let me know if you guys enjoy it, because I'd love to do more of those, because they haven't announced doing another one, but I'm pretty sure they're going to do one. They seem like they did, and like how they worded it. Anyways, first clip, uh, nothing too crazy here, but what I really came to Target for was every time there's a new Pokemon, so I like getting like, the booster pack of it just to see what's new. I don't really play anymore, but I like opening them, trying to get it cool card, I never do one of these days I will, but I'll show what the other sections got that we, I usually pay more attention to, so Legends, I have some of the Vintage Wave, last time I was here they had, last time I was here they had a, uh, Silver Samurai, like I said, sold, that's cool, I'm like fucking this up, like, immensely, I keep like, hitting notifications on my phone, alright, so they have that here for Legends, with a, you know, nothing too crazy, so a couple more sections, I haven't been in NECA section yet or anything, I might stop by Walmart next door. It kind of depends how I feel. I kind of just wanted to see if they had this, and they do. And then for Power Rangers, they don't have the new one yet, but I'm pretty sure I have seen one of them, maybe. I don't remember. They were that a GameStop or something, but uh, Black Series, they have like a billion Captain and Ham. Only like I think the newish figure they have is like Padma. She's a good figure. People don't sleep on her. She's a. I picked it up for like 15 bucks. Oh my god, she's falling over it. But yeah, it's pretty sure they have Legends and Black Series wise and whatnot, so uh. Yeah, till the next location of this week's video, let me know what I find. I don't know what that means, but yeah, next clip. I don't know if this is the first clip of this video or not, but I did actually find something, so we found stuff. We found the new Rangers. I actually might pick this guy up, because he's like the one I wanted to get. I have no idea who he is, but man, he just looks fucking cool. And I want to pick something up, because I haven't really bought anything, like... Uh huh, I made it. That's a lie. I bought something yesterday. I bought the new Boba Fett yesterday. I got that, but I don't count that. But we'll see what else there. I really don't know what's in this wave, so I guess they got this gold. Oh, this gold guy's cool, too. Oh, man, these are so cool. Man, I don't give a shit about Power Rangers, but man, they got some cool designs. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get one of these probably. They have a gift card stuff in here. And then we'll take they have uh, the Pink Ranger. They have, to have one of her. Which, just get that classic money in, I guess. And then they got. This dude, that's kind of weird. It's got instruction manual thing. The Rangers are right. I think these are the two coolest ones in my opinion. I believe that's it. Uh, I know like the, whatchamacallit guy, Goldar, he's going for a lot of money. But he's a GameStop exclusive. This is cool. Uh, so this is a Target in Michigan. So check your Michigan targets. I think I'm going to get him now. He just looks pretty anime like. And I like his little weapons. They're pretty cool. And he's cool too. I don't know. We have to stay tuned to figure out which one I get. Uh, there's someone in the other aisle, so I haven't looked at the Legends yet, but maybe there's something cool there. But yeah, I'm gonna get him for sure. But yeah, this is cool. I actually found something this week. Didn't really actually expect to find much. I wonder if this is one of the stores that now have like new anime sections, like figure arts. So we have to stay tuned, figure that out together. But yeah, I'm picking him up most likely, unless there's something cool in the anime section. So, next shot, I mean, you're probably still in this target finding other stuff here. Right, so this is like the anime NECA section. Unless there's some kind of new stuff. I think I've shown these off fresh. So there might actually not be a lot of new stuff here. But something I did find. Some interesting. It's like they're moving like the, these shitty figures back here now. It's the collectibles. Which I, I guess that's cool. I still want that to go on sale at some point. Oh yeah, some of them. I don't see any of the figure arts though. Which is kind of lame. Is there any like, tag for it? No. So I guess they haven't hit Michigan areas yet. I mean, we still haven't checked like two other targets. By which I'll probably check later this week but you know still some pretty interesting stuff we have the cool one set here pretty good i pulled a pretty good card and bought one but yeah i just want to show that off i'm probably gonna pick him up and some deodorant because i need some it's uh, pretty hype hey clients i had to stop at uh, walmart before i came home and i do see some kind of neat stuff first off i see the desert skiff thing i know this just came out i don't know i know they're kind of usually hard to find so Oh, this one's hard to find. It's cool. I don't collect three and three quarter though, but it's cool. You know, Star Wars collect. Star Wars section, though. It's depressing. <coughs> depressing, so uh, pretty hype. But, you know, Force Friday, hopefully rejuvenate it and all the stores and all the ones by me have a terrible selection. But the main reason I stopped by because I know I like these Marvel Legends are on clearance right now. So I was trying to see if they had two packs for 35 bucks. I wouldn't have gotten that one, but just to see what they don't look like. 
But uh, yeah, that's kind of all I really wanted to check here for. Nothing else really standing out too crazy much. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll cut it here. I do plan on going to some other places this week. So when I do, I will show where I shall go, I guess. That made no sense. I don't really cut it. I don't want to go to school today, but you know, gotta. Any of the Force Awakens or any Star Wars movie sets? No. Alright, I'm cutting it here. Alright, it's here that storage area I'm going to do. But, uh, I know Power Rangers trying to hit at places. They, is that new? I don't know if it's that red one. It's part of the new wave. Oh, oh dog. Uh, Star Wars wise, it's really show off how bad it is here with Star Wars figures. But pretty good on Marvel. Star Wars is rough, man. Can't wait for the new. Stuff to drop you down. Some of these, either at Walmart for like 35 you can find them in a lot of places. And then, legend wise, there's actually quite a bit. No story there. Iron Man dude. A bunch of her. That. Yeah, the Wolby. And yeah, that's it. In the, this section, uh, I know some places are gonna get crystal and stuff here. Which is pretty hype, but, uh, yeah, if everything in neck or something, I'll show it off, but this might be the last clip hunt-wise this week, which was a pretty decent hunt. Ooh, like, I was about to have 30, like, two weeks ago. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so. Sup, so, the fam squad. Uh, I'm here to show what I picked up, I guess, the last two weeks. I didn't do a video like this last week. I did the unboxing video none of you watched, by the way. So if you haven't seen that, go see it. It's a pretty cool video. I got some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna showcase two of the items I got in that video though, because I said I would if you watched it. I would elaborate of how I felt about them. And I guess I'll just start with that for the like, ten people that actually saw it. Uh, I did a bluefin mystery box. I did uh, the video game one. It came with a uh, guaranteed Dragon Ball figure arts of Android 21 and some other goodies. I'm gonna showcase the two big items. The first one being Android 21. And I actually really like this figure. She's super cool. Her tail's kind of annoying. I wish she could kind of pose it a bit better. There's only the one ball joint. But, uh, you know, whatever. She looks great. I have her holding a donut. She's munching on it. There's, like, actually a bite out of the donut, which is uh, super quiet. I can't get a good shot of it, but it's there. She looks really good. She's a cool villain. I like Dragon Ball Fighter Z, so it's cool to get a figure of her. The other big item I got in it, the rest were kind of like little mystery box items and like a cool statue and stuff. Still look at the video, I go, you see more of the accessories these came with too. But I got my first Storm Collectibles in it. I got a Rain figure from Mortal Kombat, a game I'm very into. I remember I just forgot to grab one of the items, but we'll get there when I get there. If I even talk about it really, but uh, yeah. He's super cool, I really like this. I've been doing like, putting this little blast effect thing. It's, it had like lightning that's supposed to come out of it, but I think it looks cool. Like he's like charging up like a... Attack or something, and these figures are super like posable. That's the word I'm looking for. It's so hot in my room right now. Posable. My camera's about to die. That's pretty fucking hype. Posable. So, yeah, it's really cool. I really like this figure. Uh, highly recommend Storm Collectibles if you haven't heard of them, which I'm pretty sure 90% of you have. So, now we got like the newer stuff. I got uh, I'm gonna have to like charge my camera at one point during this. I feel like it's gonna be kind of long. First up is an eBay purchase I got that I'm super happy to get. I completed a set. It's a Mezco, and that is my Ramona Flowers Mezco plush. I have the Scott already. I got these both for super cheap. See, it's proof it's Mezco. Old Mezco. Uh, I got these for dummy cheap. I got the Scott, I believe, for 10 bucks. I got Ramona for 12 He wanted 15 I best offered him 12 because if I can get it for cheaper, why not? And I'm super happy to have them both now. She looks awesome. And unlike the Scott one, the, like, uh, plush, uh, actually, no, the Scott's different too, isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 I disobey that. They did like little plush keychains too, and I thought they were the same uh, plushes, but they're actually different. It's got the different shirt, and she has her goggles on this plush. And this is, I like the Ramona a lot. She had little road skates too, a cute little touch. So yeah, I, I really like them. I'm really happy to finally complete the set. Now I just need the Mexico Scott figure, actually, and that thing's fucking expensive. Or they are, there's like three of them. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to get that. But uh, yeah, I also got some. Uh, 3DS stylus just now for my 3DS where I play at school because I lost one of them. That's pretty exciting. Ooh. But uh, yeah, another figure I got was that I did not show on camera or anything. I got the lizard from the Molten Man Wave. I got this at the Disney store, at a local Disney store, and I had it and I like him a lot. 
Uh, I can't, I haven't really found this wave too much by me. I know GameStop had some of them. To me, now these are really like twenty three, twenty four dollar figures. So like getting them for twenty is pretty cool. I really only want him and I guess Mysterio. I wouldn't mind getting and Hydro Man. But I'm really waiting for Hydro Man to get like try and get a half off somewhere. But I really wanted the Scorpion. I think he looks great. I know some people don't like how like he looks, but I think he looks really cool. And his uh, tail is posable too, and it's actually really well posable. And I just don't want to mess with it because I got him standing in like a good position I like, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Next up, I got a statue the other day that I did not show on camera. I got uh, the Uraka statue from My Hero Academia. I had this on pre order at Big Bad Toy Store, but actually, my local GameStop got it in a bit early, so I just picked it up there and canceled my Big Bad pre order. I really want an Uraka statue. It doesn't really fit. I'm collecting a different line of the My Hero one, getting all the. Or most of like the figure coliseum or something like they're called or like action figure. I don't know. They're doing action poses. They look really nice. But they had an Uraka one go on sale and I she's the best girl. So I picked her up because she looks really cool. It's not the coolest pose, but it's not a really nice looking statue still. Next up is the one that you guys saw in the thumbnail probably in the title and in the video I showed it all. I found a new Power Ranger wave and I do not know jack shit about Power Rangers, but god dang do they make some cool looking figures. And this is no exception. I I legit love this figure. It's so nice and just like this is way too nice for Hasbro. Why can't you just like Star Wars and Marvel and like they're great, but this is on like a new level, dude. And it's like this dude, I have no idea what his name is. He just looks awesome. He is insanely pulled. Look at that fucking ab crunch, the buttery smooth. Look at this pose I have him in. It looks so cool. He's just like a cool, I don't know, the space dude. He has a cool horn, he's cool head, really nice articulation, dude. Great uh like accessories, this cool blue effect. He has extra hands, but that's my accessories bag right now. He has this cool looking gun. He has a sword that you can actually take out of the seas. Seash, seas. I, I, I can't, I can't tell you. You can actually take it out and it clips to his side. This figure is insane. I highly recommend this. It really makes me want to pick up a couple of the other figures in the wave. I know my local GameStop when I went today. Uh, they had the White Ranger and Lord Zed, which I don't mind to pick up Lord Zed. I really want that figure. He looks super cool on clearance for like 15 bucks. And so like, hey, check there if you're looking for him. And then next up, I got a pretty cool, I got a couple games this week. One of them was Gears 5. I got that on the Games Pass. And so I, don't, I can't really show that. And I got Borderlands today, but it's on PC, digital, so whatever. But I did get one physical game this week or last week or whenever. I uh, got the Catherine Full Body Special Edition. I was really looking forward to this game. Highly recommend this game. Super fun puzzle game. Atlas. I love Atlas. I'll die, live and die from. There's a cool DLC in this game where you get to play as Joker from Persona, which I still need to mess with. I haven't even opened this game really yet. Just Gears 5. You can have the next thing. Gears 5 took top priority over everything. I, mean, I love Gears of War. If you don't know, I'm a huge lore fan of that game. So it's a whole deal. Maybe I'll do a Halo video no one will like, like that, but it's Gears. I, I really like Gears. And Gears 5 is like one of the best games I believe this console generation. I'm just saying. Anyways, not to get too off track, but I did open this up. It's a super nice special edition. Uh, I played the original too, so I, I know it's a great game. And this just has some like changes. It's like a pretty much like a sequel, but it's like a re it's really cool. They added a bunch of new stuff and new characters and storylines. But it's a little thing. It comes off. You get the little puzzle area, which is really nicely detailed on the side. Uh, and you can open it up. Inside it comes with a couple of items. I took some of it out. Some of it's on here though uh, So inside I have the Art book. It's a really nice looking art book of the new characters and just a really I love these art books I almost make some nice art books I still believe the best looking one is the Persona 5 art book. It's like a, it's a giant actual It's like 100 page art book. It's beautiful and the Q2 one's alright. The one for the dancing on night game was utter trash But you know, this is a pretty good one. I like this one and I believe there is artwork of Joker in here of the dad. So let me try and pin him down real quick. There he is. Yeah, so you got Joker in there. Nice Joker art. Some new art for Persona, which is really fun. Today they announced uh, here's another cool piece of art. They announced a uh, new Persona PS5, but it's only in Japan, not PS5. So I'm going to have to track one down and import it because it looks amazing. And I don't even play my PlayStation that much, but... It's so good looking, but also it comes a nice soundtrack. I have no problem. I probably won't open this because I don't like opening my soundtrack. But it's cool. Good music in that game. I'll probably rip it from somewhere. Low key. Uh, then you get the really nice steelbook for this game. Uh, the steelbook is so cool. I really like the steelbook. And one thing I don't like about it though is on the side does not say Catherine, which is kind of weird because 
every game says your name on the side of the game. But I don't know why this is the exception. And then inside, yeah, it's got the game and then like a little piece of paper. And then lastly, my favorite part of this, because it's super cool, you get, I think the guy, yeah, the guy's name is Vincent, is him in the sheep form. And he's got his little underwear on. And it's really fluffy and plushy and, ah, oh, it's a really big improvement over the Morgana and I forget the dog name from P3. But they're really getting better with their plushes because it's like the Morgana when it came to P5, which is pretty good, not the best. The dog. Uh, way better. It's a really nice little plush. Still some qualms with it. Not as fluffy I'd like to be and these these feel kind of cheap, but it's a really nice looking plush of the dog. His legs are like stupid long. But then you get the newest one they did of uh, the sheep and this sheep is top notch. This is like a plush I'd actually legit buy. It's really nice quality. I highly recommend if you can track this special edition down. I don't know how hard it is to find. I know for a little bit it was kind of expensive and they restocked and it sold out again. And like, it's one of those special editions it seems like, but if you can get it and you like Catherine or just want to try a really fun puzzle game with an amazing story, highly recommend it. Lastly, um, there's going to be a cup in between this, but I did pick up some of the Pokemon new Pokemon set that you guys saw in the video. Uh, and that a uh, little blister thing I bought. I actually did get a good card. It goes for about 15 at the time of recording. So it's like the Garchomp and Gar Garchomp and Garatina special edition. Or not pff, just regular card, but I guess it's really playable. But today I also felt like opening some more cards than I was out and about today because I, I don't know. I felt like spending a little bit of cash, you know? So I picked up this, which is really cool. So I'm going to open this up in a sec, go back to my roots of when I was a Max Mofo ripoff. And I'm opening this, but I'm going to have to pause real quick and like charge my camera real quick. It's really, really close to dying. But yeah, I'm going to open that up real quick. It won't be too long, so don't stick around. But I got one last thing I just remembered. Uh, I was one of the lucky few who was actually able to attain the new uh, Vintage Wave Boba Fett from Comic-Con and Hasbro. So I'm super excited. I should be getting that next week. I just got my shipping notification. It should be in the next few days. I'll be in next week's video or next hunt video I do. So look forward to that. I'm super excited. I now once again have all the bounty hunters. So I'm super excited to get it. It looks so good. So I will definitely show that off. I just really want to say that because, you know, flex a little bit. I I know like a lot of people hate Hasbro and how they handle their like their con exclusives, which is pretty awful. But I feel like compared this to their uh, celebration one where like, no one legit had a chance. I feel like just breaking up into two days is probably the best. I, it does suck. It's sold down like under a minute each day, even not even probably like 45 seconds. It probably so I sold out stupid fast and it went up really early the day I, I got the first day because I have the Hasbro special pass thing and they went up at like at 5.50 or 12.56 or 11.56. They weren't supposed to go up till 12 and the second they went up at like 12.05. It's really weird. They need to get on the ball with their timing. But, uh, yeah, I did get one. I'm super excited. I it's I feel like it was better than last time because I feel like with the Celebration ones, just no one had a chance. Like, legit, they had, like, ten of them. I feel like this one, they had a couple hundred, it seemed like they had. Like, maybe, like, 500 for sale for, like, 250 chicks. I don't know. I'll be getting them in. I'm not going to open it, but I'm definitely going to show it off because I, I can't wait for it. I'm super excited. And, yeah, so we're going to do a cut real quick. I'm going to charge my camera real quick, and then we'll jump right back into the um, car unboxing. Hey, it's been 20 minutes, so I think we're pretty good now. It, it, I just got last at least like seven minutes. But uh, I just want to reiterate, I got this the first time, so we're going to see what I get this time. Uh, it'll be super quick, super messy, super not funny, super not entertaining. Just like this channel, it's like how my hair is super not kept up right now because I need a haircut very bad. I like open this, I got the Big Revolt one. I don't remember which one I got the first time, but I hope it was the other one so I get each of the promos. I guess I just collect like the whatever, what are these called? Three pack blister pack promos. I have most of them. I usually buy each of them. My thing's already on red. Hey, you guys play the TCG game? This one's on your boy. But yeah, here's Victory Vault. He's pretty cool. Shiny. I like him. Pretty cool card art. I remember he used to be pretty playable when this Sun and Moon first came out. So we got uh, one of each pack. I don't already know what I'm looking for, but hopefully I'm entertained for the 10 or 12 bucks I spent on this. I think it was like 12 bucks. Which man, dude, cards are expensive. You ever realize that? Cards are pretty expensive. Uh, I don't remember how this goes. All right, I just saw the back, so it's green, which if you know Pokemon, that means it's no good. Get rid of the energy, so we got, we got, uh, hopefully I get some cool art at least. Yeah. 
I, I said like really hard to do like this. I usually used to do it like the other way. I got Pikachu. That's pretty nice. I like that Pikachu because like, actually actually looks like shit. So yeah, that's not a good Pikachu. I'd take it back. And here's the Reverse Hollow and the Rare I got was a really crappy card. But hey, we still got two packs left. You know, two pack Magic. You know, watch me just get a Hollow or not even anything. I remember one time I got a four energies in a pack so that's pretty hype and here is the second pack so we got that dude that dude that dude that snivery it's pretty cool uh i don't really play the tcg anymore but i sometimes hop on the online one because why not okay here's the reverse hollow and steelix wow all right last pack magic give it a kiss pray that i didn't just waste 12 bucks today because Hope not. I feel like you usually get like at least one good card out of these. I haven't really been too disappointed by it yet. So please God, if you're out there, give me a really good card because I would very much like that. Uh, yeah, Mega Jinx is it racist? Uh, Fish dude, Cubone, Dragon dude from Big Diamond and Pearl or something. Him, Drifloon, uh, and. Fuck off, dude. Fucking hollow. Alright, so that wasn't that good. Uh, I'll still put this in, though. But, you know, mega tilt. Uh, it's usually why I don't do Pokemon videos anymore. Because uh, I don't get good pulls ever. Especially more so when I record. I remember one time, or the last Black Friday, I was going to do a Pokemon video. I bought, I think, like $100 worth of packs. I got, like, because like, I'm Black Friday at Target. Past two years, they've done $10 10, so it's a half off of 10. It's a really good price. So I bought 10 of them to do it. And I did not even get one EX or level or GX card. I did not get one. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's why I don't really do Pokemon videos much anymore. But uh, yeah, I didn't get anything good. It'll probably be a little while until I buy a pack again. Because I tilted. I didn't get anything good. You see how it goes. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, I'm one away from 60. So if you're not subbed, just please sub. So I have 60 subscribers finally. I've been at like the 50 range for like four months now Ooh, it's tilting but uh yeah uh comment down below if you found any of the new power ranger stuff this week if you got anything cool this week or get better pulls and pokemon cards than i do i'm gonna go and work on my game for my game design class at college and wait for borderlands 3 to unlock later tonight when i get home from classes yeah